The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Feeling good, Lewis. We are going to have Stan Harley as our guest at the break today. No, uh, what do you call it? Uh, hail today, folks. No rain, no hail, so we should be okay. I posted the chart from Dennis Gartman showing the fear greed index, which is a rough way of saying overbought, oversold. And as you can see, we are overbought. We're in the greed area at 89, which is a, a pretty high level. However, we need to talk about something we've been watching here for quite some time, and that is is the natural gas. Mr. Z happens to be chatting about it. I would, those of you that follow this, you'll notice that the natural gas came down last night and filled that gap at 273, and we're now trading up around 281. But that was a big ABCD pattern, folks. We backed off just a little bit. Now, if we go above that 290 level, we are looking at some real serious prices to the upside. So right now, this ABCD is complete. It's backed off. It's made its first retracement. So this is going to be a very, very interesting situation here as we look at natural gas going forward. Any move below 273 now would uh, not be um, very good, but right now it's acting exactly as it should. Now, as it, most of you know, there's been some announcement. It was at 1220, which was uh, 220 in the morning. Um, uh, we had an announcement coming out of uh, supposedly China or Timbuktu, wherever it was. But I, I just wanted to show you folks. You wonder, you know, you folks ask me about the AI program and stuff. But let me show you what it can do sometimes because this was this was done long before. But look what happened. Uh, look what happened right at 2 o'clock in the morning when there was supposed to be a big move in the S&P. Look at that. It, it was exact. And it, it actually went through the whole day. There was no there was no uh, sell off at 5 o'clock. It just went sideways after that, which is not unusual because uh, it's best the first three quarters of the day. But the uh, fact is what I can do is uh, I want to uh, I show you also, uh, this ha I happen to be in this one because I've been really bearish this one, and this was the uh, gold market. I, I actually was not watching the gold. I was actually uh, watching the uh, the stocks because uh, the gold had just made a you know 38% retracement up there at 1496. Remember it it bounced exactly 15 dollars you know off of the bottom, and we made a new low today, folks. Uh, we went down to uh, 1482 today, uh, almost exactly. In fact, we'll get that up here so you folks can see it uh, almost exactly at the time. Hold on just one second here. By golly, got to get these little technical things uh, worked out, don't we? All right, here we go. We'll get this up here. And the low actually came in at uh, 1482. I was posting at this time getting ready for the show. But 1482 means we took out that low the other day and haven't gone any. We've had a little bit of a bounce, $4, but really not very much. I'm getting more friendly to gold now if we can stay above 1480 today. This will be a real key thing here. That's it. Uh, well, you know, Bill, everybody has that feeling because if you think that China doesn't play games with us, folks, you haven't been around long enough. I've been doing this business for a long time. I've been watching them do shenanigans uh, in the grain trade. And it used to be back when we had the, um, the Russian grain robbery, it was the Russians that were doing it. But they do the same thing. They give misinformation. And you think Mr. Buffett doesn't give in misinformation? Give me a break. No, but that that that's just all part of the game, and that's that's why I'm a technician. You know, I don't know what these guys are saying, and I don't understand three fourths of it. Sorry. Well, it's, that's that's on the low end, probably closer to 89 percent or 78.6 percent. I don't know. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Now we need to show a couple of charts here from our good friend Mr. Z because this was one we talked about yesterday, and we're doing the same thing that we did yesterday. We had a $15 rally, and what did we do? We came down $17. 
and nearly made that low. We did not quite, we did not quite take out the low at 79 as of yet. Now we could, but uh, so far it is held. So we've been 15 up, 15 down, and that's uh, pretty much what's been going on. So not too much going on there. If we get below 14.79, we believe we're heading towards that uh, level of 14. Uh, what is that level? I think it's at 14.55. Uh, oh, Ruby's saying that the piggies may open limit up. Ruby, I would not bet on that. And the reason why I'm saying that is I'm looking at the grains, and they're not acting like there's a big deal going on in China. We got corn up three cents, wheat up three cents, and beans up four cents, at least the last I checked. And that means, let's just double check it here, see if I can get some. Pro yeah, well, yeah, beans are up three, three, and wheat's up two. I mean, that's not that's not the exact uh, kind of move that you want to see when you're uh, looking at a market that is, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, you're right. Buy them when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling. Anyway, um, I, Ruby, let me know when they they'll be opening soon. So let me know if they open limit up. I'd be quite surprised if they do. Uh, the last price I saw on the hogs was around 66. Is that correct? I haven't checked them because I've been doing other things tonight, watching the pound and the euro, and the pound had a had a really nice move. We'll cover that here uh, in a minute, and we'll uh, just get all the fact is since we're uh, ha have a break here, where we're coming up soon. Here's that British pound. Uh, we pointed out this huge ABCD that was up there at the 78 percent level that came in at 130. We're now trading below 128. The 382 retracement on this, folks, comes in at uh, 127. 10. Watch that. That's an ABCD. Very, very important one, I believe. So sort of keep your eyes on that. That would be very interesting. 64, 68 is where they closed. If they open limit up, my hat's off to you because uh, they're at major support here. Any little bit of weakness here, and, uh, you, you know, you got to be careful. Uh, uh, oh, well, <laughs> are you long? I, have you have you got an opening indication? I haven't even seen an. I, I don't even know what the opening indication would be, so I shouldn't even say that. Have cattle opened yet? Yeah, let's just double check this. I think they have. Have they? No, cattle haven't opened yet either, and nor have the hogs. So I don't know what's going to happen here. 64. All I know is if they get below 63 in those hogs, you know that's neither here nor there. Ruby, this reminds me of a situation back in '83 when I was. Excuse me. 80, yeah, it was '83. I was back on the floor. I was short two pork belly. And there was a cattle, uh, a cattle, not cattle on feed, but a cattle inventory report. It was January. And it was so bullish, they said that everything was going to be up the limit three days in a row. Cattle had been going crazy to the upside anyway. Bellies had been in a little bit of a retracement pattern, and I'd shorted two bellies on Friday. This was Monday. I saw that news, and I said, oh, my God, I'm going to get killed. I walked over to the pork belly pit, and uh, I tried to get my order set on the desk, you know, get on top of the deck, which was illegal, and I got chewed out for that. But uh, he showed me the deck, and it was to sell 2,000 pork bellies at the market. Cattle didn't even open just a tiny bit higher and went limit down for three days with a very, very bullish report. So just because China and the U.S. are saying something, folks, <laughs> just be careful. That's all I know. One other pattern that is very interesting, and I'm going to cover that after the break, is if you like Fibonacci and you like symmetry and you like um, sacred geometry, you're going to like this next pattern. Maybe. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I'd like to put the chart up of the uh, NASDAQ. Uh, this is as of last night, of course. Uh, we did hit uh, 8260. Uh, that completes double ABCD patterns on the daily, as you can see up there. There's a 1.27 and a 1.618. It is a butterfly, and it is a three-drive pattern going back to last April. Whether it works or not, oh, I don't know, but all I can tell you is this is a completed pattern. We hit say, we hit 30.91, I believe, last night. We're trading at 30.87 in the S&P, uh, so we'll see what happens. But the, the NASDAQ has already uh, sold off 30 handles from that level. I don't know if it means anything or not. It's come back halfway, but uh, we'll see what's going on. But it is complete. Uh, so we'll do one thing at a time. Now we got to get to where the pedal meets the metal and the real players play. We're going to take a look here, folks, at the old Bondolis. Let's get up here and get the old pattern in here because we've done something very, very important. You notice this really dark red line that's here right now. I put this in last night at about 2 o'clock, and we were getting ready to take out those lows from September the 13th. If you remember, that was a uh, big new moon. I was doing this subject in uh, uh, London, and uh, we were looking to buy the bonds there. And, of course, we had a pretty good rally. But now we've taken out that low by just a little bit. Uh, we've been down as low as 115.13, I believe. We're trading at around 115, 157.15 oh, right now. So watch it, because uh, this is a really important number here in the bonds, taking out those lows and uh, going now that the notes have broken that shattered it. I mean, they have really hit it really hard. So the the thought of negative interest rates right now is a little less positive than it was uh, just a few months ago. So we should be uh, watching it anyway, no matter what, what we're looking at. I hope that helps, but those are just a few of the things. Now, Mr. Z also uh, brought one up on the copper that is uh, really interesting because uh, it is. He's been very bullish copper recently. And as you can see here on this chart that he sent to me, you have, and he sent it to you guys here, you notice that it is on the verge of a breakout. This is high-grade copper. 
We're trading up around 730. And remember, he was really interested in it around the 256 level. So that's been a heck of a move. My hat's off to you. So uh, it looks like it's going. And the ABCD structure on this, folks, if you want to do the math, you had your low down at 248, your high up at uh, uh, 270. So that's uh, 22 points. Uh, yeah, 22. You add 22 to 252, it's going to take you to at least uh, 276. So it's got another six cents to go just to complete the ABCD. So we'll just keep an eye on it. That's going to be very interesting. Uh, I don't know if there's any running inflation yet, but there might be down the road. You know, we have to do one thing at a time, uh, do that, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, we need to uh, talk just a tad about uh, the Bitcoin. We've had several questions about that, and we want to get this up here so you folks can uh, take a quick look at it. This comes from our good friend, Gary Szymanski, lives about three miles away, been my buddy here for 28 years, and that's when I first met him, and we got together, and he certainly learned this stuff good. Oh, he's calling that a Gartley buy pattern, as you can see. We posted that a few weeks ago. Now, look at this sideways action, folks, after that big gap up. You don't see many gaps on Bitcoin. You can see one back in May. You see where it left a big gap in May? And the reason why, this thing trades 24 hours a day on these these different exchanges that they have. So it has that gap, and we haven't even made a 382 retracement yet. So this is really positive expectation here for uh, Bitcoin. It really does. I mean, this sideways action is, is very, very powerful. So uh, we need to watch that because, I, well, you can watch it. I'm not trading it, but, you know, people are talking about it. And when the president of China, the premier of China is talking about it, should pay uh, pay attention for it. Yes, I'm aware of the fact that we're going to have, in fact, I'm very happy being at my age bracket as I run into the eighth furlong. Uh, we're going to have free Medicare for all. I'm hoping for free food, free travel. I'm not so much concerned about the education anymore, folks, because I'm done going to school. I've, I've done enough uh, uh, learning in these markets for, so I don't need to go back to school anymore. Well, I probably should. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I, I don't know. Oh, what, one other thing. This was a chart that uh, – hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I can, see, I can see them being able to take out all of the health care companies, folks. Yeah, let the government run our – let the government run our health system. That would really be a good thing. <laughs> Yep. Marshall, now that's not nice. I don't know anything, but I know one thing. You don't want the government in there doing anything. That's one thing for sure. Here, let's get up here and take a quick look here at this. Uh, I know you're teasing me. Here's the chart from Enzo. We Last night, with all that bullish news, the thing popped up quite a bit. As a matter of fact, folks, you know, as you as you look at this today, uh, you know, the, the stock market, I would I would have thought last night if the stocks would have come up and had a uh, uh, a run where the uh, China thing was done, deal and everything. I would have thought that it would have been up 300 points in the Dow, and it might be before the end of the day. That's for sure. There's a possibility of that, of course, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's uh, move on here, and we want to do some other things here. We got the bonds making a new low down in here, folks. Uh, Keep an eye on these puppies, because if they collapse from here, boy, they're going to go down a long way, as I say. Hold on a second here. I might have a costume here. Um, could we have a rally soon? I don't know. Um, oh, uh, let, let me, the, uh, let's just go to, I don't know what you mean, 140 to go in what? I don't know. In the euro? Uh, well, the euro is, uh, we, we've been talking about the euro. We, we said it yesterday. Remember when it when it broke below that, uh, that, that, that really key level? I, where was it here? Here it is, right here. There, there, remember we talked about this. Uh, all the euro, oh, the Dow, yeah, I could go easy do that. Uh, you can easily see here that uh, we've got this, uh, uh, this ABCD that formed. We rallied a little bit, and then we've rolled over. We're now trading, you know, below these levels, and that's a, that's a bad sign because we weren't even able to rally to a 382 retracement. Yeah, the 30-year bond does look sick. It certainly does. And remember, well, I think I've got the note chart up here, folks. I, and the open interest in the bonds has dropped three days in a row. Now, whether that means anything, I don't know or not. But here's what you're looking at in the bonds. I'll put a, bring it up here and show it to you again because this is really important. You'll notice here 
that it, I didn't draw it in, but there's an ABCD pattern there at uh, the high we made yesterday at 159 and change. That's almost an exact. It missed it by one pip of being a 382. If you measure that 382 retracement, that one takes you down to uh, 155. So it's got another two too large to go. So I, I'm not sure. So we'll just uh, do one thing at a time. I hope that helps. That's all I can tell you. One thing at a time. All right. Let's move on here. Any questions? Oh, we got a break coming up. And then we got Mr. Stan Harley coming on to talk to us. Stan was fortunate enough to move here to uh, Arizona. And by golly, uh, he missed, missed the fires because he lived right over there where all those fires are in California. So we're glad to hear that. So we'll be right back with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Ladder. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've got Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter on the line. Stan, I understand that you made the trade of the century when you moved from the fire-infested California to Arizona. Is that true? <laughs> Absolutely, Larry. <laughs> yeah, I love you? California, just like you. You know, we used to live there. I lived in California yeah. for 34 years. Beautiful yeah. place. But uh, now I'm proud to call Arizona home. 
how close were the fires to where you live, Stan? Were they uh, in any danger at all? Oh, I was in. I lived in Ventura County. Yes, uh, very, very close. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that I know. I, I lived in Westlake on the LA side, so wow, it's really. But at least you got through it, and at least it's better anyway. California's so screwed up now. I, I don't understand how they're even going to survive. <laughs> I mean, you know, I almost moved out of California in 1970 because of the 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 uh, taxes on the uh, houses were going to go to 13 percent. Then they had that Jarvis Gann initiative, and so I stayed. Uh, I stayed Stayed in the, I stayed there, but boy, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm really uh, surprised at what's going on. But what I see in the news and what's going on, hey, we got trouble here in Arizona. You know, Doug, you know where those people were killed? That's 90 miles to where I live, Stan. I know, I know. It's you know, on that's really close. Yeah, that's really close. And, you know, and let's talk about the markets. What do you let's got? Let's talk about the markets. Market? Absolutely. You've got it, brother. You got it. Go ahead. Um, I sent you a couple of charts a little while ago. I'm not sure whether you've had a chance yes. to. Uh, I, I, posted know you've been busy the, I, post, I posted the one with the GAN rule of four. Absolutely. Uh, I'm a, I'm a table-pounding bull here, Larry. I think we have an interesting pattern developing. Um, GAN's rule of four. Um, he, many, many years, 100 years ago, noticed this pattern. What he found was as a market, a stock, an index, or commodity, anything, uh, moves up to some resistance threshold. And that threshold of resistance can be horizontal, it can be upward sloping, it can be even occasionally downward sloping. But the point is, the initial three attempts to break through that line of resistance uh, result in a failure. Mm -hmm. And the fourth push is essentially make or break time. The fourth okay. push, if it bounces off that and, and, and goes the other way, then you get a pretty sharp drop. On the other hand, if the market or index breaks through to the upside on that fourth attempt, it tends to sprint very rapidly and never looks back. And I think that's what is happening right now. Here's a chart of the Dow Industrials. I see you've got it up on the screen. Uh, yes. This is a couple of days ago. We actually now are right just above that uh, line that I have. That's a GAN angle. It's about it's a one by four GAN angle I've drawn on there. Uh -huh. And uh, this is the fourth push. And if Mr. Gann's theories from 100 years ago still hold true today, and I believe that they do, uh, we should continue to push higher and see new uh, new highs across the board, led by the Dow Industrials, and, uh, and never look back. And I think that's what's taking mm -hmm. place uh, now. Uh, we're up, uh, as we speak, about 170-odd points on the Dow. And the second chart I sent you is the S&P 500, and we have a similar structure there. Mm -hmm. We have a, a, a one by two angle being projected off that high in uh, January of 2018. And it portends a very similar pattern. You've got the fourth push up against this overhead resistance, and we are already in new high territory. And uh, if Mr. Gann's uh -huh. theories hold true, as I said, we should continue to push higher and never look back. And, and Larry, that's what I think is happening. Well, it's certainly happening today, my friend. I happened to be up at two o'clock in the morning when uh, that I thing heard. happened. And yeah, well, you know, yeah, I have a sleep. <laughs> no, well, uh, uh, Mother Mother Nature has played some weird tricks on me as I've passed the seventh furlong, <laughs> and so uh, I was uh, I was up, uh, you know, just uh, you know taking care of business. I uh, well, anyway, <laughs> I just anyway, said. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what happens, you know, you get yeah. up so many times. Anyway, they, uh, I happened to just check, and it was just exactly at the time. In fact, it was almost at two twenty-two in the morning, because uh, you know two twenty-two is a garlic pattern, and I I, I think it was a ten hour or something like that. And as soon as it took off, I walked over to the uh, uh, TV and I turned on Bloomberg just to see what was uh, see what was going on. And then I saw the Chinese deal and stuff. In fact, I was surprised that the uh, the stock that the, the, the uh, Dow had not jumped 300 points or more. You know, uh, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But it's still it might be 300 before the day's over. But that's uh, well, that's it's, what I, it's the and, and you got the chart of the S and P up on the screen here. Yes, and uh, yes. this is from a, from a couple of days ago. Um, mm -hmm. We are now at the fourth touch point on that rising one by two angle. Uh -huh. And we are breaking through and we are pushing to the upside. And uh, we're making, oh, gee, we're, right now, as you and I speak, we're making new all time highs in the S&P 500. It doesn't um, take much. We'll, it doesn't take much. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it's going to be a steady grind, I believe, uh, higher. And I think uh -huh. you're going to see the other components that make up what I call the big five, and for me, Larry, the big five are the Dow Industrials, 
-hmm. Dow Transports, the New York Composite, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. Uh, mm -hmm. I, look for, I look at all five of those all the time, and I want to see either confirmation or non-confirmation. Right now, we've got three of the five in record high ground. That is, we've got the Dow Industrials, mm -hmm. we've got the S&P, we've got the NAS. The other two components that make up the big five are the, uh, the Dow Transports and the New York mm -hmm. Comp. And those are really packing my head of steam uh, right now. Yes, uh, they and are. I think, I think you'll continue to see uh, those other two outpace on a, on a relative basis, the Dow and the S&P, because they've got some catching up to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you'll see them in record high ground as well in the not too distant future. The transports wow. are up one and a half percent as you and I talked. Right now, well, they that's are just a, that's, that's a, that is a big move in the transportations. That's for sure. That that's really well, a big well, one. As this bull market evolves, Larry, you see a push pull. You see some components of the big five lead, like the Dow and the S and P, and you see the others lag. And then at other times, you have got other components uh, leading. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, over the long haul, they tend to make uh, new highs together as the bull market evolves. And, I, and, and mm -hmm. my theory is we're still in a secular bull market, at least for another mm -hmm. three and a half years. Yeah, I posted a chart here as we, as we speak. It's a NASDAQ composite. And, you know, we gapped above those old highs, you know, last uh, Friday. And, boy, that is a really powerful signal. And, of course, we've continued to go higher. So I have to agree that, you know, Mr. Gann is certainly uh, spot on as we look at it today. That's for sure. And he's got the news at his back because uh, they're saying that the Chinese deal is a done deal. And as we know, when they say it, it must be so. Right, Stan? <laughs> it must Stan, be so. Stan, what's your feeling on the gold here? I know you do uh, do some work on it, but what what are you looking at? Anything? I, I, I'm I'm bearish on the metals complex. I think uh, a couple of months ago we uh -huh. saw a, a significant high. That uh -huh. high was part and parcel of a cycle that averages about uh, oh uh, 96 months, uh -huh. uh, or also about 40 weeks. Both of those cycles, I think, mark that high. And I think the metals okay. complex are, are heading south. That, that's what I, I think. In the very, very okay. short term, we might get a little bounce. But, uh, no, I think overall uh, the dominant trend is southbound here. Okay. Now, one other question, and that is about the old Bondolis. Uh, they've had one hell of a correction here now since September the 3rd. Are we due for a bounce in these bonds, or are they finished? Uh, uh, well, I think uh, a couple of months ago we might have seen a significant high in the, in the bonds as well. Uh, Long, long term, I think bonds are heading higher, but I think that high from a couple of months ago might stand for a while. Okay. Uh, so hey, I, yeah. hey, Stan, thanks for joining us, my friend. We my appreciate pleasure, it. Larry. Okay, buddy. Stan Harley, this Harley Stock Market Letter. You can Google it and you'll see the man himself. We'll be right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. 
Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're still rocking and rolling. We got the Dow Jones up two and a half now, and we got the uh, the NASDAQ is still not making a new high. We've got almost 3,100 in the uh, S&P. Um, that is a very interesting number, too. So we're going to be lots of buying early this morning, and, of course, that will continue all through the day, as we know. The bonds have gone down quite a bit, and now they're bouncing uh, a little bit here and there. Uh, we're still we made a low of 157.10. That low we made two months ago was at 157.17. Uh, so we haven't exactly collapsed from there. Watch the time frame of 10 o'clock, folks. 10 o'clock is going to be a really interesting time here uh, in the bonds. 10 and 11:30. Both of those times are very very interesting. And in the stock market, I would be looking uh, pretty close to now. That's uh, what it would be looking at uh, if this is going to uh, happen. But we'll have to wait and see. We've had a small rally in the gold market, uh, 1482 up to 1489. That's just nothing more than a little small ABCD pattern. So that's uh, neither here nor there. So we'll uh, pay a close, uh, play close attention to that one. Regarding the hogs, Ruby, they didn't open anywhere near near limit up, and they're almost down on the day now. So I um, hope you got out on the open because uh, they're not acting well. The corn is not acting well. The beans are not acting well. The beans are up a few cents. Wheat's not acting acting well. So those things, if you're, you know, if you believe the grain trade, the grain trade is saying this is not going to happen right away in this uh, stuff with the with the thing. So I don't know. But, you, can, you know, we have really bullish news for the grains today, folks. This is about as bullish as you can get. No more tariffs. You know, free trade. That's what they're looking for. And this market's not acting well. Stock market's acting well, but not the grain markets and not the hog market. So I don't know if that means anything or not, but that's just uh, just wait and see. Well, just be careful and put your stop in, because if we break below that 78 percent level at, one, at 64, they're not going to look very good. And the last price I saw was just about 65 and change. So just be careful, because if you don't use a stop, you're telling the market that I know more than you do, and that's not the way it is. Let's take a quick look here at a chart that was sent to us by our good friend, uh, Dennis Gartman, and I wanted to bring it up. This shows you the relationship between the Chinese stock market, i.e. Shanghai, and also the the Dow, excuse me, the S&P 500. You notice that we're making these big patterns up here in the S&P 500, but now we'll have to wait and see. We're just in a holding pattern here in the Chinese market, so there's not really much uh, going on at that point. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. If you have um, 
um, uh, any questions, please be uh, be kind enough to uh, you know let me know that uh, you will uh, that I'll answer it for you if I can't, and and if I can't, I'll try to find somebody that knows the answer to it. So that's neither here nor there. Uh, we had a, a question this morning about the gold, folks. Uh, we really believe that that gold market. We've talked about it many many times. I've talked about it this morning already. We hit that 82 level, and that's that's that same pattern that. Uh, that we were looking at in the gold. Just look at it again. You'll be able to see it. Now, the key here is yesterday when we hit it, this, this is a good example. Here's a good example. Yesterday when we hit that low at 1483, we rallied up to 1495. That was a 382 retracement off of point B. That's all that was. And then what did it do? It came down today, hasn't made a new low. That's actually a good sign. That could be really good. And all we've been able to do is to rally what, $9 back? Yeah, 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 it was just about nine, no, seven dollars back, which is exactly 618 of the last rally. And here again, uh, that number that we hit last night at 1496, that was a, uh, you know, a 382 uh, of that move. And then we came down and tested it again. So it's trying to hold on, but, you know, anything below that 1479, it's going to make Stan Harley's idea of much lower prices in gold, you know, really good. And if people, you know, if everybody's going to be buying stocks, I guess gold's going to go back down a lot lower. All I know is that it's, it's at a real critical level here because below that is going to be some serious selling. That's the way it looks like from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona. As I mentioned, when uh, when we were on with Stan Harley, Douglas, Arizona is where that family was killed. There's a Mormon uh, commune there, and uh, we, I've heard of it before. I've never been in that area, but Douglas is where the copper mines are. Uh, it's about uh, 60 miles uh, due east of me here in Tucson, and then about 70 miles south into Mexico in the northern Sonora Desert is where this uh, stuff happened. And that's that's the area where a lot of these things happen, folks. Uh, they don't come through Nogales and Tijuana anymore because it's too heavily uh, uh, you know, uh, guarded, and now so so they go into the other areas, and that's uh, that's where the problem. Is. It's all drug related. There, you know, these drugs are big big profit items. And what I see in the news, they have their own uh, 50 caliber machine guns. They've got uh, uh, rockets and all this other stuff. So it's basically a war. But uh, we have to protect ourselves, folks. Do you realize that people came in from 147 different countries, tried to get into our country this past year? I saw that on Bloomberg uh, uh, last night, I believe, from 147 different countries. So it's not just from El Salvador and all these other places. It's coming from, uh, you know, just about everywhere. So we need to do something about that. Actually, where I am here, I mean, we don't hear much about it or anything, so and we watch it on the news. The good news from our standpoint was yesterday, the city of Tucson actually overwhelmingly uh, discarded the chance of being a sanctuary city. So that was uh, that was good news. So uh, we uh, will see how that uh, see how that works out as we look at some of these things. We're still screaming in the market. Yes, we are. We've had a new high in the S and P up at thirty uh, ninety four, and uh, we're looking at the uh, let me see the S. Oh, we're up two hundred or two hundred two fifty in the uh, in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So that's going to be a real interesting one. And uh, what else? Oh, the euro. The euro is still holding yesterday's low at uh, that uh, 153, but it looks like it wants to break below it. All we were able to do last night was to rally 40 pips, and then it, it sold off uh, it sold off dramatically. We're just making new highs now in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, so that's, uh, that's another one that looks uh, real interesting. So we'll keep a uh, close eye. We're up 200 and what, 240 now? Ooh, they're really moving today. This is what we like to see. Like to see this early in the morning. This is what we like to see. Okay, let's get back to the old program here. And uh, what else do we want to cover? Uh, the hogs are still not doing much. I, I would be really careful of these hogs. Uh, we're trading. We had a low of 65.05. We're trading at 65.37, I just see, on the Bloomberg terminal. So uh, if we get below, uh, down on the day, I would be really suspect. Uh, that's, the, that's the main thing to look at. We've got... Uh, 
uh, just be careful. Uh, that's all I can. Th these markets are just not acting very bullish. I mean, we've got beans up two cents. We've got corn down. We've got uh, wheat down. Th this is not bullish news for the uh, for the grain people, folks. And that's the biggest, uh, you know, that's the biggest export that we have. I think, you know, maybe even be big on. Pretty, I'm, I'm sure it's bigger than autos. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a little break here when we come back, and then we'll see uh, what's going on with the program. So. Um, Let's see, any other questions that anybody had? Oh, the crude oil. Uh, they were rallying pretty nicely in the crude oil. We had a, a pretty nice little rally up here this morning, so we're going to see if it's, uh, if it's going to do anything. We just made an um, interesting spot here at 57. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to wrap up the show with the uh, price of the Dow Jones E-mini is trading at 27,660, almost to 27,700, another 
groundbreaking uh, day so far, and we got the S&P trading at uh, 3092. We had a high of uh, 3094. Uh, the NASDAQ is up sharply, just like all the other things. The bonds are making new lows down in here as we speak at 157.09. Watch those folks at 10 o'clock and also at 1130, because I will share this with you. Whether it means anything or not, I don't know, but sometimes these patterns work better than others, but let's just get it up here so you can see what this is our AI program of what we're looking at here just for kicks and giggles. We'll get this up here so you can take a quick look at it. You won't have to risk much. Uh, I don't have, to, oh, I might have time for coffee. Uh, all I can tell you about the coffee is if it's above, uh, I haven't checked it in a few days, Ruby, but let me just get it up here. I know that it's uh, it's got a really bullish pattern and I don't know if it broke out above that. Let's just get, uh, get it up here. If you can tell me if we're above that 105 level, uh, Rufy, it's going to look pretty good because the next level is 108. So I don't know where it's trading right now, but uh, that 105 uh, uh, was a really strong resistance. And if we get above there, it looks good. You did a great job on that. I know Mr. Z was really helpful. Oh, there you go, 108.70. There we're back up to that 61% retracement. We owe that one to you and Mr. Z. They were both uh, talking about that, and that's really been a heck of a move. So we'll uh, watch this. Uh, really, really closely here to keep an eye on these things as we're watching them here this morning. Okay, let's sit. We're almost ready for the end of the day, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and try to do something nice for somebody that doesn't have very much, folks. And we will see you on the flip-flop tomorrow. We will have Dr. David Paul on. Tom will not be with us tomorrow. He has to do some uh, family things, but he will be back with us next Friday, and Dave, David will We'll be back with us next Friday. We're hoping we're going to have them as a regular. Uh, very, very interesting. Try not to miss it.